Hello everybody. Happy, I have no idea. What day is it? Good question. It's Tuesday. Happy Tuesday. I don't know if I'm actually showing up on live right now, so I'm just going to do a little checking. Doot, doot. Oh, I think I am. I think it's working. I think we're on live. Yes, you're going to notice that today there's a little logo up in the top right-hand corner. Of the, oh, look at that. <laughs> up in the top right-hand corner of the screen. Um, I am trying a different program tonight to see if we get any less lag. The problem is now is I'm in it and I don't know how to switch it back to me. Oh my goodness. That's okay. Anyway, we will give it a go and we will see what happens because now I feel like I can't see your comments. Okay, just a sec. Yeah, this is all fine and dandy, people, but I cannot see it. I can't. I'm an idiot. Okay, so if there's a Switcher Studio person on with me, this is great and all, but I am on my phone, and I don't know how to switch to make it show you another view. Good Lord, am I dumb. Anyway, that's okay. I thought I figured it out before I went on. So we'll just do a regular old Facebook Live and I will read your comments on my computer and we got this. I'm so sorry about last night and the kashmazel that was the internet. I'm going to show you how that card turned out last night. I hope you like it. Hi Beth. Hi Sharon. Hi Denise. Hi you guys. So we've got this gorgeous one and this one says you mean so much to me. Um... Okay, let's see how this goes today. I know, the internet and I were not good friends yesterday. I wanted to cry by the time I got off. I hate that. Technology is so frustrating. Anyway, so I was super happy with how the card turned out, but you did not get to see the end. So there you go. Oh, I know. I'm not self blame It's technology, and it makes me loopy sometimes. Okay, so I'm on this Switcher Studio, as you guys can see from the top corner, and I should be able to do the same thing in Switcher Studio and bring you back to see my face. But our only issue is, I don't know what button to press to do that. So if there's anybody on who uses Switcher Studio, please feel free to share that with me. Okay, so we are going to do, we're doing a catalog case tonight. It was a bit of a loony day, working with my class. I had an amazing time I got to do, we did an hour math lesson. I was like the happiest human being in the world. Um, I got to see all their little faces. And the best part is when they tell you that they had no interest in getting off after our hour math lesson. They were like, no, don't end. And I was like, I know, but we have to, because otherwise nobody in my house will eat or we will do anything. Okay, I know, deep breath and move on. You got it, Ellen. So here we go. I have got a basic, oh, sorry, not basic blue, balmy blue card base. Ready? And then I have got a balmy blue um, mat, and this one is four by five and a quarter. Yes, you guys, we're just testing out a new front today. We're all good. You didn't care for many cam, and neither did I, Kristen. It was fighting with me. And so we're actually going to play with this one, and I've never used it before. I actually just took the packaging off of it. So this is my birthday jubilee bundle. So we've got the stamp set, and we've got the coordinating dies. And I just went to the catalog, and I grabbed a set, like a, a card from the catalog, and I was like, oh, that's cute. Let's try it, okay? Hi, Eth. I was just telling them about our class today and how nobody wanted to get off. We were all just going to stay on and do math all day long. All day. Okay, so what I'm going to do first is we, Ethan, I'm casing. I told Ethan I was going to try and create a card. He said, make it good. I was like, dude, I don't have that in me. Who's flashing? Oh, no, was I flashing? I connected with my kiddos. Oh, I know. Debbie, it's honestly like seeing their faces today and like the, the lights going on as they were getting the math assignment. And, and it was comical. I did have to hold a whiteboard in my arms while writing on it because of camera issues. But we will figure these out. Everyone will just work through it. Okay, so first thing we're going to start with, and this one's kind of fun. I love this idea. Is Oh, we actually have to make these smaller than I made them. Huh, okay, that's okay. So we're going to take this, and we've got just our regular old base platform, okay? You thought the same thing and giggled? Oh, no, what did I say? Oh, is there something? That was the flashing comment, wasn't it? I'm not going to flash anybody, I promise. I'm not going to flash. Okay, so we're going to come in here, and we're going to die cut these two pieces. Now, again, I have never used this, yes? Case your heart away, it'll still be awesome. Ethan, you're like the world's best cheerleader. You're like, you got this, McKay. You can totally do it. Math would be the subject everyone hates to stop and start. 
Yeah, what are those dies for? You're gonna see. What dies are those? They are the birthday jubilee dies. Okay, Cher? So we're cranking it. The picture's good, nice and clear. Love it. Um, actually, you know what? I'm gonna wind back. I'm gonna go both ways. This is my oldest big shot, and it's not necessarily the uh, the tightest of all my big shots. So we're gonna crank it. Harder when you're working. Working totally gets in the way, doesn't it? Okay, so we've got those through. Boop, come here. Let's see if they cut. Again, if they didn't, it's my big shot. You go, oh, I jiggled that one. Look at it, it's like it's in 3D. I'll just die cut that one again. That's not a big deal. This one stayed still and it looks quite beautiful. Looks like it all cut, loverly. Okay, so what we'll do, all that happened there, you know when I ran it through the second time, I obviously bumped that die. So it was so good that it just die cut a second piece. I'll just do that one one more time. So which one did I do? Okay, this one stunk. Okay, so I'm just throwing it on my desk to get the last little bits out because that's a super classy way of dealing with problems. I have multiple big shots. Yeah, Eve, you are such a rookie. Okay, so Eve, I have one at the lake and, oh, you ready for this? I have three at my house, three. One, two, three big shots. Why? Because when I hold classes, we gotta have like multiple ones. Why do I put my dies in sideways instead of straight when you are cutting? I don't know, you can change them up, do them however you like. Uh, it actually works best if you don't run them through straight, if you run them through on a day. So we're gonna do that one. I don't think I wiggled it, but you never know. We'll just keep cutting. There we go. Ethan's a bit of a tech guru. He was like sending me stuff online today through the class. Okay, so these are gorgeous. Yes, okay, so I'm gonna move the big shot out of the way for a sec. And we're going to see if we can get this all sorted out. So what we're going to do next is we have got, I need my dye brush. Now at the lake, I don't have the attachment dye brush for, you know, the one for our take a pick tool. I just have my old one, but that's okay. We can make it work. I guess that's just a reason that I'll need to order one now when I'm here for as long as I am. Otherwise it's like hitting a speed bump. I'm still at the lake, Eth. It's after 11 o'clock, <laughs> it's late on a school night. <laughs> it's only eight o'clock, he's not bad. And our school, our, uh, our daily math lessons, they're not till one in the afternoon. I, we have so many teachers in our school who scheduled 10 a.m. for their times that uh, I know parents were even having issues. They were like, how are we all supposed to be on at 10 a.m.? You can't. So we're doing 1 p.m. I love the brush attachment. I really like the bristles on it. They are much firmer than these ones and i'm trying not i don't want to rip the paper tonight and i'm dude dude just grab any of your stragglers i can use my i just feel like tossing the stuff all around like confetti problem is i have to vacuum this up because cooper walks around like a little vacuum cleaner and he licks it all off the floor i'm like what is cooper chewing and no no it's just a big pile of paper thanks coops tech guru at your service yes and i even used him as my guinea pig the other day Called his mom, I'm like, can I call Ethan? I need to see if I can get him to do this, make this work for me. Cause you have to have like a test pilot on the other end. Okay, sorry, I was just throwing those bits out before Cooper ate them. Okay, sending them through at an angle gets, yeah, totally, the good word of the chichunk. Hello, Marsha. Okay, so we've got those two little bits. Like I said, if you have any stragglers, he looks pretty good. Straggle, straggle. You can just stab them out, you know, that's what you do. You haven't, you, I neither had I, Denise, uh, Darlene, sorry, I said Denise. And I was like, oh, this one's in my wall. I think I'm gonna use it. Okay, so let's get those bits out of the way. We've got our card base. Now, I'm thinking I can pop these up. I'm thinking I can hide dimensionals. I'm going to, that's what I'm gonna do. So we're gonna pop it up and it goes, oh, <laughs> you wanna know what? It doesn't go like this. I actually used two of the, I used the wrong die. We're supposed to use two of this one. Oh, well. well, I'll just cut another one off on the side while we're talking. Okay, because you have nothing better to do than to watch me. Cooper would have confetti poop. Well, let's just say, Mayor, I know it's more information than most people need, but Cooper has had that a few times already. Cooper and Harley used to do it too. When Harley was a baby, he used to run uh, uh, to my recycling bin beside my desk in my craft room, and he would grab scraps, and it was always colored paper. He would never grab white. He would always grab like red or blue or green, and then he would run under the table where I couldn't get to him, and he would chew it under there. So yes, I have seen the confetti poop, and you always do the, oh my gosh, there's something wrong with my dog, and then I remember. 
will you ever consider moving to the lake? Yes, I will move to the lake, but I won't be moving to the lake for, a, uh, I've got five more years until I retire, and then I will move to the lake. That's awesome, Ethan. Oh no, what did Ethan do? Ethan, it's going great. She's awesome. You're so sweetie. But Ethan, my arms are so sore from holding up that whiteboard while writing. That was not what the plan was. You guys were supposed to get to look down on it. Ethan's like, how come this isn't working like a Facebook Live? I'm like, I know. Tell me about it. Okay, so for this card, we actually could have skipped this. I'm going to keep that because I'm going to use it for something else. And we're going to just pop those bits out. You're watching me pop a lot of bits out tonight. I feel like these are what my bits are like right now. Kind of a little scattered and all over the joint. Doot, doot. Looking good. Okay. Hello. Blan. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. That just made me so happy to see you on there. <gasps> I have not seen you in eons. How are you? How are your sweet children? Oh, that's so fun when you see people on that you haven't seen in forever. I know. Ethan, stop laughing with me in my bits. Okay. So we've got those ones ready. And these are actually going to get put on just like that. Now, the next thing that we're going to grab is I actually got it in advance. We're going to grab some Whisper White cardstock. Ta -da. And then the next thing we're going to do with this is we are going to stamp. Just a second. Color? What color? Oh, it looks like they maybe used a little bit of Sahara sand. I'm going to grab my Sahara sand. Oh, we're going to have to mount stamps. It's like a distance drive from the lake to school. Oh, oh yes. It's like four hours, Becky. I can't like bomb back and forth. Yep. Yeah. So no, the only reason I'm at the lake right now is because, um, well, number one, we're online schooling. Number two, trying to stay, sounds so weird, trying to stay as far from my hubby as possible because of his career and, you know, the possibility of um, infection. So we don't want that. And then my mom and dad are here and my parents, as I'm sure many of you are doing with your parents, I'm being like the bossy teenager. Well, bossy parent now. Are you supposed to use your poor teacher techniques and use your shower wall? <gasps> That's a good one. Shower wall. I totally could have done that. Forget the whiteboard. Okay, guys, we're going to McKay's shower. Don't worry if she's dressed, but we are going to write in her shower. Um, anyway, so yes, but that's why we're staying like, and this way I'm able to make sure that my parents have food and all those things are kind of done. Hold up the whiteboard. Oh, just a sec. Do you want to see it? So it's not small. So I will start at one end and I will kind of show you like, see, this is a large whiteboard that I was holding up with one hand while I was teaching and writing with the other hand. It was pretty comical. Oh, thank you, Michelle. Ethan's like, please, no, no, we're not going to go in my shower. Don't worry. Nobody needs to go in the shower. Everything is good. We're going to stamp uh, and then we're going to ink it up. And then we're going to stamp the, I was, I did tell Ethan though, after I'm like, that was super lame. And he said, why? And I said, because Ethan normally cracks jokes at me while I'm teaching. And like, they're good. You've got the zingers, but I, he couldn't do that today because the kids all had to be on mute because as you can imagine, it could get a little comical if the kids were all off mute, all 25 of them while I was teaching them. So the poor kids had to be on mute. And Eve, did you even see it? I used my teacher voice today. So the kids got super pumped because they can communicate with each other in the chat on the side of the screen. But then you can totally get a team to hold it up for you. I know my boys. They were both doing their schoolwork. Um, but uh, they start to get carried away, right? And so you can't follow the lesson if you're yakking on the side and it's going ping, ping. Anyway, I was like, that's fine, boys and girls. Or I thought, that's fine, team. I can just sit here. I will wait till you're done. And then silence. It was awesome. Just, oh, good. I heard about the super moon. Anyway, so like it was like dead silent all of a sudden. And then there was no more comments. I was totally giggling. Unless they were math related. But they, they got it. They heard the McKay tone. They were like, okay, well, shut up. That's her face. We can't really see her face. But I'm sure it's making that one that she makes when she needs us to be quiet. Okay, so we're gonna grab happy birthday. Doo doo. This is good, because I can send this out to team. I'm liking the look of this. It's looking very clear. Looks like it's good. Is the uh, sounds matching up with what you're seeing right now? That's always my biggest concern. I just want you guys to get, because I get annoyed when I watch a show and the uh, 
voices don't match up or the sounds don't match up. Ooh, on that note, I have to tell you one, a story. Okay, so we're gonna do this and we're gonna take it and I'm gonna stamp my happy birthday here-ish. I think I've left myself enough room. Do, let's hear the teacher tone. You really wanna hear it? That's fine, boys and girls. I will just wait. I have nowhere else to be. <laughs> and then the problem is, is at school, I, like, I have to turn around and hide my face because I'm usually trying super hard not to giggle when I have to get mad because the stuff that they do, honestly, it's super funny. <laughs> and it like, I would be the kid that would be laughing at with them in class. So I do, oh, it's time for Joe's meds. I have so many alarms set right now, so I don't forget things. Um, so I do like, I, the worst part is, is I am. I'm the teacher who like has to turn around so that I don't giggle with them. Okay, remind me to tell you the story in a second about the things being synced. Ethan, it's so funny. <laughs> okay, so next thing we're gonna do, I'm gonna grab some granny apple green and my Calypso coral markers. Just a sec. Could have got these ready in advance, couldn't I? Huh. Calypso coral, granny apple green. I think that's it. Maybe, oh, maybe they used a little balmy blue. I'll grab my balmy blue too, just in case. Balmy, balmy blue. Got it. We got them all. I've never seen that sanding a stamp. Oh, yes, I do have a very so a calm teacher voice. Um, sanding the stamp is great when you've got brand new rubber stamps and they're kind of really solid, chunky images. And you know they don't take the ink very well the first time. You do that ch -ch -ch, um, so that you can, it just holds the ink better. Do you need to hear them when they answer a question? Oh, they can unmute themselves, Becky, and they can all type all their answers. But you have to envision if you're online, and you have 25 kids all talking to each other, there would be no lesson. It just wouldn't work. And you also, you get, um, yeah, see, Mia's like, I try and keep a straight face too. You also get all the background noise. So we were laughing because somebody's mom at one point was yelling at them and they didn't have theirs muted. And like you could, everyone could hear that. So when they're working from home, no, you definitely have to have people muted. Okay, so we're gonna go in, and what it looks like they've done with the Calypso Coral is I'm gonna take this, and I'm gonna use my little fine tip part. This could end up being a long Facebook Live, so if you're tired, I, I, I promise you I'm not offended if you have to go. We're just gonna go in, and I think this is kind of the fun one about using blends, is you can absolutely blend them, but you can also use them just like a marker, too. Oh, I should've colored one of these in advance. It probably would've been helpful. Dude, dude, I can't look up. There we go. Oh, you have to make them shh, shh while standing. Yes, shh, shh, shh. you do. Joanne, see, she knows. Joanne says you need to make that shh, shh, shh sound while standing. Or else it doesn't work. Nothing has the same effect unless you, doesn't work properly unless you use your sound effects. Okay, so all I'm doing is just using that one And Hello, Marilyn from Prince George. <gasps> PG, you're a PG girl. That is where my, whoops, Ridgeback breeder is. We drove all the way from Vancouver, you'll get this, Marilyn, to PG in a snowstorm on February, I believe it was February the 23rd, not last year, but the year before, and it was like white out conditions to go and get our baby boy, my Harley. Um, and yes, it was, it was hands down the most terrifying drive of my life. Sean says I cried the entire way. Okay, and then we're using our green. Boop, and I'm just gonna make these match up. I've done them underneath each other. They're gonna, we're gonna separate them in the actual card. I'm just making sure I'm doing this properly. And we'll do the same thing here. Boop. Um, do. Okay. Uh, there, what do you say? Sorry, someone said something. I have not heard you say poopy canoe in ages. Bye, Heath, I'll see you tomorrow. Bye, honey. Thank you for getting all that stuff done for me, and thank you for being my guinea pig. Um, okay, so now we're coming in here. Yeah, you guys, Ethan's gone. I'm not gonna lie, class is super boring when you can't hear him. He honestly, that kid he makes, he like, he is like my comic relief, and he's like spot on in the classroom. It cracks you up. Never inappropriate, but just so funny. I can't imagine. I know, Marilyn, I was terrifying. Um, but it was so worth it because he's such a sweet doggy. Okay, so now what I'm gonna do here, this part's a little bit easier. So I'm gonna take my light Calypso Coral and I don't have to avoid the dark zone when I do this. You don't have to avoid the dark side. 
because I can just color over my old stuff. Oh, this is kind of fun. Really like this image, you guys. Uh, you're probably, are you dying of boredom right now? Okay, so do you want me to tell you the story about things not syncing up? Would you like to hear the story of the sound not thinking up? That would be an eight hour drive. Yes, and then, but then we had to drive back. Like it was honestly, it was just, a, it was crazy, Marilyn. Did I just see Carrie Cole come on? Hello, Carrie. Hi, Marlene. Marlene, I'm glad that paper pumpkin stuff arrived. Do, do, do. Okay. Um, hi, a bit late. Hello, Deborah Wilson. Okay, so I'm going to tell you the story. So this is the story of the things not syncing up. So... I am 18 years old. No, I'm not actually myself. I'm 45, but I was 18 years old when this happened. So, and I am uh, out with my boyfriend at the time when I was 18, and we have gone to see the movie. This is actually kind of a terrifying story, so if you get scared, I'm sorry. Um, so we actually had gone to see the movie Donnie Brasco. I don't know if anyone here has ever seen that one. Um, it's got like Al Pacino's in it, you know, whatever. You have three Ethans in your class. Um, and so... Now, what am I doing here? I have no idea. I'm just kind of like winging this as we go. I'm looking to see what's there, but I'm not really paying attention right now. I'm just kind of coloring and yakking. Okay, so I go to see Donnie Brasco, and you're coming in late. Go back and watch the beginning. Okay, good. Bye, Jean. Um, and so we're watching it, and Al Pacino's got his like, you know, what are those guns called that you do that? You follow me? Like, what are those called? I don't know. I'm not, I'm not super fluent with guns. Anyway, so Al Pacino's got one of those, okay? And he's holding it up in the air, and he goes, kch, kch. but that's what his hands are doing. But all of a sudden, you hear this bang, bang, bang. And I, all I remember thinking was, this is super bad. They didn't even match up the audio with the actual film like how can they oh that's not the side one how can they do that and it turns out yes shotgun thank you that's the word i was looking for that's like i know my guns um and I, all i was thinking was wow did they ever mess that up like they really didn't kind of line this stuff up they don't match whatever well no it's because it was an actual real shooting you guys like real shooting someone was getting shot um, and I am so clueless. I totally didn't realize it. Like I had no idea this was going on, even though it was literally happening. I was same seat as me, but five rows ahead and, um, in the front row. And I didn't honestly so clueless. And thank God my boyfriend at the time, he was, uh, he obviously, he clued in long before I did and had shoved me down on the ground. Now it was targeted, so it wasn't, um, but you think in a movie theater, what were the chances of them actually hitting someone else is insanely high. And so I'm on, I'm getting shoved down. I'm going, what are you doing? Like, I was super upset. I'm like, what are you doing? Yes. I know. Look at Marlene's like, oh my gosh. Yes. And it was, do you remember, um, Mara was at the Esplanade movie theaters. Anyway, so this story gets better. So at the time, um, so I'm 18 and at this time, I am, I'm still a dance teacher. So I taught dancing from the time I was like 15 until I was 25. Um, and so I am, just a second, I have to think here for 30 seconds. Notice how I can't think and talk at the same time. Those two things don't work well together for me. Um, yes, oh my God is right. Okay, so I'm a dance teacher. And so whatever, before we leave the theater, you had to like, they, they finally get the, the lights back on. That was the other terrifying part is the lights. They couldn't get them on initially and people are running and people are screaming. And it's like, it, like almost, I guess like very stampede -ish. Um, we just stayed put. I was down on the ground in a movie theater. And if anyone knows what a germaphobe I know, your hubby remembers this. Yes. Um, but if anybody knows what a germaphobe I am. The fact that I stayed down on the ground in a movie theater would give you, yeah, he's a North Van boy from the hood. Um, it would give you an indication of how kind of serious it was in the moment because as a germaphobe, there is nothing worse than lying on the ground in a movie theater. It kind of makes you want to gag. Uh, notice I'm laughing. I can laugh now. This is like 27 years ago, people. It was not funny in the moment. I'm not going to lie. Um, Anyways, so the story goes on. Here we go. It keeps getting better. So I'm a dance teacher and um, I don't really think much of this. We leave our name before we have to leave the theater that night. And that's fine. And I, you know, but this is not, I think, I 
think I had my first cell phones. This is 27 years ago, so it would have been one of those cheesy flip phones. Hello, Sonia. We're coloring and I'm telling weird stories because we're hanging out at night because none of us have anywhere to go. Um, anyway, so I get a call from the RCMP, which is our um, Royal, like our mounted police here in uh, Canada. I can't even talk. Royal Canadian Mounted Police. And they just say that they need me to come in and answer some questions. And I'm like, of course. And I'm thinking, really? Me? Like, I didn't see anything. I didn't even clue in there was a shooting. Why do you want to talk to me? So uh, sticky popcorn floor. Oh, yeah, this is gross. Sticky popcorn pop, you name it. Disgusting. Anyway, so I'm like, fine. And so I go into the RCMP detachment. And I'm in the RCMP detachment. And I, they take me up to this room. And there's cameras set up. And I'm like, okay what the heck is going on here? Why? Like, really? What do I have to do with this? So here we go. The story keeps getting better, people. Turns out that one of my dancing students, because I taught some kids who were uh, quite close in age to me, because I taught a lot of the teen classes. Just a second. I feel like that didn't work very well. I didn't get a very dark inner. I'm missing a dark inner on this one. I'm going to have to test him. Um... One of the girls who, uh, I don't know, I guess I am the one who runs toward the sounds, not away. Yeah, you, you're weird. You're like my husband. You guys are wired differently. Anyway, so I have been, get this, they've got me on a, as a witness because I was at the movie theater, but then they call me in because not only am I on the witness list, I have been used as somebody's alibi. Yes, somebody's alibi who says they were not at the movie they were at their dance class with their dance teacher. Well, who's your dance teacher? Her name is Angela Watson. What was Watson back in the day? Her name is Angela Watson. So the police are like, what's up with this Angela Watson? She was at the movie theater. We have her on the witness list, but she's also somebody's alibi. So I'm like, no, dude, I was not at dancing with that person. I had nothing to do with that. I was at the movie. Like, and we'd even been told, keep your movie tickets you know, all that kind of stuff. So we did. Anyway, it turns out that this young lady who I taught dancing to, no, she did not do it. But uh, I guess a boyfriend that she was involved with, um, had, I don't know. Anyway, that was the connection. One of her, her boyfriend or some guy that she was involved with had been part of it. And so she had been questioned and she screwed up and said she was at dancing because she would have had no idea that I was, you know, um, at that movie and so it ended up her story unraveled yes and all that this is where I tell my kids I'm like how did we get to this this was all because you were talking about the sound syncing up anyway yes it was pretty crazy so Kath tell me what do you do like what's your job hmm sounds more like they were doing that thing yes I know I want to know what you do because you say you run into it Hi, is Jilly on? Hi, Jilly Bean. Doot, doot. I'm coloring flowers and I'm moving really slowly. And I, I, I'm not going to lie. I think that I move slowly when I'm on with you guys because it means I can stay on with you longer and I don't have to go. My boy said to me today, I said, you got to come sit with me and just talk. And I was like, why, Mom? You've been talking all day. I'm like, I know, but I've been talking at people. I haven't had anyone talking to me. So I think this is it. I like talking to you guys because then you can comment back to me and I feel like I'm getting to interact with people because there doesn't seem to be enough hours during the day right now to fit everything in. Corey and I were playing telephone tag for a while today. Hello, my lovelies. Anyway, so yes, that was the lovely story of the, um, the North End shooting. Okay, now I'm trying to just figure out. Now it looks like they've used a little bit of yellow. So I think I might grab just a little bit of, I'm gonna go Daffodil Delight and I'm gonna go with my dark one. I'm gonna go with my pointy end and then we're just gonna try this last part, okay? Super scary, yeah. I was in the army for 25 years and did three combat tours. Oh my gosh, Catherine. Yes, uh, so you are one of those ones that's wired differently. It is, it is a mind blowing thing. I always tease my husband and say he's not quite right because you natural instinct tells you there's something bad happening, you run away. And he's wired to run in. And I, I don't know if I will ever, I have so much respect for it and I am so proud of him, but I can't tell you that I will ever understand it because 
I don't get that. I don't feel, I, I like, I will always run in to help people if someone's like hurt or whatever, that doesn't phase me, but danger I tend to run away from. We are adrenaline junkies. I agree though. I think that's it. I think there has to be a certain part. You guys, we have to die cut carefully because after all this coloring, if I schmuck these up, you guys are going to kill me. Um, after all, yeah, I, that is something to be said about that. I think it is something to do with the adrenaline. Dude, dude, dude. Okay, we got all those bits. Whew, that was quite the ordeal. Um, next thing we're going to do is we're going to go back to the bake shop. I have such a mess on my desk. It's so good that you guys cannot see all the garbaggio that is around. Kim, I feel like I need to do one of these with you after. No, it's okay. I actually, you know what? I make the boys do it tonight and we will, um, I want to figure out so I can bounce back to me so that you guys can see me at the end, but I don't have that quite worked out. Okay. Now I need just to find the dies. Did anyone see? Oh, here, I put them up on the ledge. All good. The dies are really cool. We've got some pretty borders, some little, fr what are they called? Fronds? You are too, Kim? What? Hang on a second. What does Kim do too? Look at you guys all. All my Stampin' Vets. We need a group of you, the Stampin' Vets. You should do that. <gasps> that is amazing. Uh, Kristen, I remember that about you. I remember you and I talking about that. You'd be the first to help, but after that, you fall apart. Yes, do you get that? Like, all of a sudden, you just collapse, and you're, like, teary as anything? That's me, Marilyn. Like, I keep it together in the moment, and then I'm like, ugh, and I'm done. I got nothing. But I, it is. I think it's just all how we're all wired. Okay, so I'm going to put this on and then I am going to grab a post-it note tonight because we're not going to screw this up. I do construction on the highway. Oh, good Lord, girl. How do you do that? Okay, hang on. I got to get a post-it note. I'm going to grab one. Whoa, I'm grabbing a lime green one. That was fun. It was one of the accordion ones. The whole stack just came like running. Okay, so what we're going to do here is we're going to just... I'm going to shift it and then I'm going to just make sure... But it's all, it looks good, okay? So we're gonna do the first one. You ready? So I do not have any, um, what's it called here? Garbaggio. I would love to see the garbaggio, yes. Helped in many accents, I witnessed too many. I know. We've come across some on the highway that have really scared me. Um, and again, like, Sean's so calm. And there was another, one day it was on a Father's Day, and we were going to a restaurant, and we came down our street, and a cyclist had been hit by a car. And I was like, oh my God, oh my God, oh my God. And then I realized Sean was out of the car. And I'm like, oh, Sean's over there. Um, and it's all kind of in the time that, you know, you're still processing what's happening. So it is, it's really interesting how differently we're all wired. But thank God. I mean, if we were all wired like that, I think this world could get pretty dangerous if everyone was an adrenal adrenaline junkie. So I think it's good that it's, some of us are like the cautious. I always tease, my oldest is my cautious one. If you're going to get hurt, he ain't going to do it. Okay, there we go. You use low tack painter. That's a good one, Carla. Retired federal prison employee. Yeah, you guys told me it's harder. It's harder to be a spouse than the veteran. Thank you. Oh, you guys are amazing. Okay. I love this. I learned so. You know, Sean reacts like Jim. Yes, they're weird, right, Jeanette? Jeanette too. Um, I love this part because. You got to admit, when we were just doing our regular Facebook lives, there's so many things that we don't get to know about each other. So although I would not wish this global pandemic on anyone because it's a horrible situation, I'm not going to lie when I tell you, I am loving getting to know you guys better and to, to learning about your lives. Okay, we're on to our next step. So we've got these bits. We've got this. We've got those gorgeous flowers. Ooh, love them. A lot of coloring involved there. I know, Valerie, I'm feeling super boring right now. I witnessed my boyfriend have a quad accident. Oh, Patricia. Mach. That's scary. Okay, we're going to grab the little trimmer for this. We're going to test it out. So what I want to do, I don't know how thick I need to make this. I have no idea. So we're going to kind of wing it because, again, I'm just kind of following the little, um, the picture that I'm seeing in the catalog. That's what we're going from. Do either of your boys want to be firefighters? Younger one, yes. Older one, <laughs> you ask him that, he'd laugh at you. He'd be like, nope, no blood for me. Thank you. I will pass. Okay, so we're just going to... 
Um, but Joe is the first person also to step in and help people when they need it. He just does not deal well. He doesn't like blood. And I love it that people who know their limitations, right? They're like, nope, not my thing, can't do that. Okay, so our next step that we're going to have to do is we're going to have to cut this to be the right length. And we're totally winging this. How long have I been on? Have I been keeping you forever? I feel like I've been on forever. Oh, 34 minutes. We're not that bad. It's, I mean, it's longer than some of mine, but that's okay. So I am looking at cutting this to be three little a hair more than three and a half inches. Okay, we can handle that. It's a snick more, as my brother-in-law would say. It's a snick more than three and a half inches. Okay, so I'm gonna go like this. And then we're gonna snick it on this side. Three, three and a quarter, three and a half. Ooh, that's not enough snickage, okay. I'm gonna bring it down a bit there. And then you gotta go back to the other side. Am I making you dizzy yet? Grandma's sweater again tonight? What? What's grandma's sweater? No, I'm wearing a, is, are you talking about me? Or are you talking about my colors? It's a Costco hoodie. <laughs> There's nothing fancy going on in my clothes lately. Anyone else having a really hard time getting uh, the motivation to do hair and makeup? Or is that just me? Oh, only blue. I understand you. Grandma's sweater. Okay, I'm following. It just takes me a bit. Okay, I'm hoping I stamped it thick enough. So what it looks like they've done here, and we're going to weigh it, right? We're, we're just copying out of the catalog. Um, we are going to glue down... Yeah, yeah, that looks not bad. Okay, so we're gonna glue down that strip with the sentiment, but we have to make sure the sentiment goes on straight because I actually don't think I cut it very straight, but that's okay. Only we know that, right? Oh wait, that's all of us. Okay, flip the card over. So I'm gonna come to the middle and I'm going to zoop, zoop. There we go. Medical assistant many years while well, he had a grown man pass out on me when I drew his blood. I hate clothes lately. So Patricia's just doing the naked thing. She's like, forget the clothes. Done. Um, yeah, I, I've taught Joe to look away. I look away when I get blood work done. I, I know it doesn't, it's not going to hurt. It's like, honestly, that pain of a needle is nothing. Especially when, because, you know, I get blood work done frequently. And so does Joe with his epilepsy. Because you have to have che stuff checked for meds. But... It's psycho. It's absolutely psychological. It's that ah, something stabbing me. The only motivation to do my hair is yes, exactly. I'm like, really, my dogs don't care if um, my hair is done or not. Now I will. I did giggle today because I I straightened. Well, I didn't really. I kind of like half straightened my hair, so I just blow dried it with this big round brush today. So it's kind of big, loose. Um, just kind of. It's very wavy looking. And so when I went online, my kids have never seen that because I've had it curly every day this year. I haven't straightened it. And they were like, whoa, I can't watch blood being blown either. Yes, yeah, so I do my hair on Monday when I have to grocery shop. See, yeah, see, priorities. One day a week, that's when the hair is getting done. I get so, oh, you guys are weird. Okay, now Patricia though, I'm there. Okay, here, again, fun fact about me, you may not know. I have a tattoo. Um, and I loved that. That was cool. I don't watch the blood get drawn. It's counterintuitive to let someone stick you with pins. <laughs> ah, I like the grown man that freaked out. Yes, I know. Isn't that funny? The guys that are covered. But it's different, Cam. Like, because when I got my tattoo, I don't remember feeling any fear. I loved it. Like, it was like the coolest. I think I kind of got a rush from it. And I was like, oh, I totally get people who get into the full on like body tattoos and piercings. Because I was like, this is neat. Hello, Terry. We're having the weirdest conversation tonight, Terry. This is officially called Quarantine Crazies. I can't watch the needle go in, but you're fine after that. Yeah. I get that, Jan. And I can't watch, like, I love medical shows. Whoa, did I ever miss center that? But that's okay. Look at how far I am from the top of the bottom. But that's okay. It's good. It's all fine. Um, I, medical shows always do that to me. Like, I have to look away. I'm like, ooh, not good, not good. I just panicked. I thought I lost these. I went with Switcher. Well, Marika, it's the trial version because seriously, after my incident with what's it called last night, I was about to lose my mind. Okay, so next one, we need the big dimensionals. You always, no, you're not weird. I think we're just all so different in regards to that. Okay. Where is yours? Mine is my kid's initials in Japanese on your ankle. Oh, that's really cute. Um, mine is on my tailbone. <laughs> yes, yes, it is, you guys. I know what you're all thinking. Um, okay, again, 18. 
this is, I was really 18 was not a great age for me. Um, and I decided I wanted to get, does anyone remember the black, like the restricted panther, the black cat from, you know, movies, if it was a restricted movie, um, that little black panther would go across the screen. So I, <laughs> so embarrassing. I went in and I said to this tattoo, or my first tattoo, I'm like, my only tattoo, by the way. Um, I said to him, I would like to get the restricted um, panther and I wanted it just below my underline line on the front and I remember he looked at me and this guy had like every piercing under the sun and he had like big nose rings and earrings and like you know and he looked at me and he said do you ever plan on having children and I'm like oh, I'm 18 years old like good luck I don't even know what I'm eating for dinner tonight and he said well that restricted panther the restricted cat's gonna look like a restricted hippopotamus so i know she's just like oh my god and so he said why don't you go away for an hour come back i will design something for you and then if you still want to get it done we'll go ahead so i said okay so i came back in an hour <laughs> i know this is so bad <laughs> meredith lost all respect for me um so I come back in an hour and he's done this. It's really cute. It's just a tiny, it's like a heart and it's got vines kind of wrapping through it. Um, but it's very small and it's very easy. Just a second, I'm trying to find rhinestones. Uh, it's very small and it's very easy to hide. So that was what I ended up going with. Thank God to that man. I feel like I should go back and thank him 25 years later. But yes, that was what we ended up, I'm going to, I need rhinestones. Sorry guys, I can't leave it. It's too naked right now. They actually stuck a little string across the top. This is kind of fun. It's cute. Um, I would like to do this in black and white. Oh. Um, there we go. And yes, I know you're laughing at me. I love it. Okay. So there you go, you guys. Birthday Jubilee. That's a fun set. I'll show you the card in the catalog. It was almost the last page. It was page 64. So you can see it right there. And what they actually did on here was they used a string with some pom-poms to add to it. But I'm not feeling the string with the pom-poms. I do feel where I'm at now. I like that. <clears throat> and for those of you who have no idea how the card turned out from last night, yes, absolutely. A total high that came with it. There's the card from last night that you never got to see because I didn't know what I had to fix that and what to do. So you guys can check out both cards there. Now, did anyone ever come on who knows how to use Switcher Studio? Who knows how I could get back to me? Because I don't know how to do it. There is a spot. I should have clicked it beforehand and I did not. Anyway, but we can go like this. Hang on. We can go. I think I can go like that. I can go to selfie. Will it come? Oh, it did. Whoop. There we go. Hi, you guys. I know. Ugh, bad hair. But yes. Anyway, who cares? We're in quarantine mode. It's good to see you all. I hope you have an amazing evening and thank you for joining me. I will figure out how to use Switcher Studio and get you back to me without clicking on anything weird next time. I hope you guys have an amazing evening. Thanks so much for joining me. I so appreciate it. Whoa, I just stuck my thumb right over your screen. I have to reach